<laughs> Cum smells like shit because you've been fucking asses again. Are we live, man? Yeah, sort of. All right, well, episode number 17, all right, of the Marty and Michael Fully Actual Podcast. We're nearly halfway through the season, and we are in Michael's shithole. Your fucking shithole house. Oh, here comes Bozzy. Ooh. Here he comes. Bozzy um, has he's had a rough morning. He's going to bed. Good boy, Dolan. I woke up, and he was um, really dizzy. Just kept, like, falling to the side and was a bit lethargic and no appetite either, Matt. And he was drooling a lot, but he's improved remarkably until then. So I'm going to wait and see to the morning, mm. all right? See what happens with that because he's just eaten his dinner. So that's a great sign. Yeah, it is, Matt. What would have you done if Bosley died today? Oh, it'd be a tough day. What meal would have you eaten for dinner? Would, would it I'd have changed? Still, yeah, no. It would have changed. It. No, no, it would have stayed the same. Oh, it should change, I think. I, I think it should I, definitely yeah, I think change. Yeah, I think it might. I think it'd be a depression food, so I'd go straight for a pizza or something. So Yeah, well, it could be a KFC day. Yeah, it could be. A, yes, it could definitely be a KFC. I'd probably just load up, eh? Get fucking loaded up, can't? <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, so you just go full straight for like class A drugs? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh shit! Oh man, you would get yeah, you'd be down in the dumps. I'll be having a fucking party though. I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Fuck. Bosley. Yeah, wow. Well, oh. I guess it'd be a dark party, but you'd get into it because you'd have to. It's and I'd the, dance with his, with his corpse and oh, shit. Oh, stop <laughs> watch, this. I would seriously watch that. I'd, I'd make, I'd make a music too. video to the song My Heart Will Go On with Bosley's corpse. Would you taxidermy him? Oh, no, 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 no. Too far? No, no, I'd just have him until he rigor mortis had set in and he was so stiff it was impossible to handle and then I'd just put him in the Brisbane River. How long? <laughs> so it'd be like two days. Oh, You'd have two days with him before he'd start to stink. I reckon. Yeah. I don't want to talk about this yeah, anymore. Even in joke form. <laughs> Even in joke form, it hurts me, all right? And I've just come from my sauna <clears throat> and I'm here to relax. Yeah. So you'd have a different meal. It's safe to say a different dinner. hundred percent. hundred percent. So what else do we need to talk about? Um, we're very, it's, we're very busy this week. We're trying to film 11 videos in total. 11. Do you, under, do you understand? I don't. You, you don't, you don't get it. You don't get it, Matt. We're doing it because we're I'm, trying to I'm get one a, a week every week. <laughs> we're trying to look. We're trying to get ahead on content. Why? So that then we can concentrate on better shit. We don't have to constantly make fucking weekly videos. It is relentless, and I am like, I am fucking. Huh. We've posted a video every week to the website for nearly three years straight. My body hurts, Matt. You know what I mean? It's just outrageous. Anyway, that's Sorry. why if we're a bit flat and um, no, I reckon. No, I think we're good. the outfits oh, yeah. are saving us. Yeah. yeah, you're right. What outfits? Oh yeah, your cow outfit. Anyway, that's what Matt wears. Yeah, true. He's we were a saying coach. he looks like a uh, yeah yeah. It's a new wholesome uniform. A soccer coach. Ah, uh, we forgot uh, Michael's Bible last week. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. We were just too high. We genuinely yeah. forgot about that. <laughs> and we also noticed the um, we didn't give an explanation of why the billboard prank call guy didn't didn't come through. Um, basically, I forgot to put my phone on private. Called him with my phone number, and then I was like, <laughs> "Fuck, well, I can't call him." 30 seconds later off a private number because then he'll put two and two together and know that it was me. And he did try and call me the next morning. I had Twice, two Matt. I had yeah. two missed calls from him. Ooh. So he tried to call. So thank fuck it's on private. Yeah, so we'll try twice. again tonight, okay? It'll be Rhonda wanting some billboard advertisement for a new Shiraz. One of her friend's wineries has oh. got a new Shiraz. I can't wait. Rhonda's can great. Michael, you went away? Oh, oh yeah. Michael yeah. had some time away. Yeah, Corumban with Amber. That's where I grew up. 10 out of 10. Yeah, holy shit, we went past and I was like, this is where Matt grew up. And what? Did you did you, you ever go to the bird or wildlife sanctuary? Yeah, yeah he the bird sanctuary. Worked there. <laughs> we probably crossed paths when we were little boys and little browns. Maybe. Because yeah. I went there as a little girl wait, too. Wait, wait, wait. Matt, Matt, Matt was never a little boy. B-worlds across the road. Yeah, true. You're like some dark mist spirit. Yeah, I just hadn't aged, but well, he's from another planet. Oh, that's he's like 170 something. That's yeah, right. roughly. I went to high, I went I to high school. Yeah, I just like think 70. you're the same. And yeah. 
Anyway, but, fuck. All right. Well, very good. It was a very nice trip away. That's nice. And that's shit talk. Um, we're also trying to lock in a date for our alien hunting. Um, what else exciting is happening? Um, oh, yeah. You'll know by this time, by the time this podcast comes out, but we're in a conundrum. We want to go. We've been invited to this red carpet event in Sydney. Chris Hemsworth got a new movie coming out on Netflix, right? Is it a- no. Well, look, these are the things, right? It's on Saturday. It's a red carpet event, and we've never really been to one, like a proper one. So we want to go dressed as red carpet and just sort of vlog it a little bit. But the thing is, there's no flights from Sydney to Brisbane that night. So we'd have to stay the night, which I know, sound like obviously, you'd think you'd stay the night. Okay, we will. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's decided. We're going to Sydney. But do you think Chris Hemsworth will walk over us, Brown? What, literally walk over you? Red carpet on the red carpet. And we're thinking about bringing th- signs that say Thor, but instead of Thor... It's T H A W and have like sausages. Yeah, sausages underneath it. But this is you, your thought. That's what you're doing right now, <laughs> idiot. And nail him like that. And oh. then be like, well, you're not even dressed as red carpet. Didn't you hear? <laughs> it's a red carpet themed event. Or we can just start yelling out like Miley Cyrus. That's his brother's. I know. Yeah. <laughs> like, Why the fuck are you going to say that? So- <laughs> And then we could make, you know, and we might meet some important people there too. You just never know. So we, we're tossing it up. We think we could get a funny vlog out of it, but we just, we don't know. I think everyone but Chris will walk over you. I reckon he'll want to and he'll go to do it. And then his publicist will be like, soup, and just grab you and move on. That's what I picture happening. Oh, okay. You've been in contact with him. Do you know him? You know where he lives in Byron. I do. You've been up the driveway. You've you've been looking through Your the windows. Your friend hangs out with you. You stalk Chris Hemsworth. My friend? Seriously, he's been to his house at Byron Bay and... And... Who's my friend? And Angus and, and, and Julia Stone. Angus and Julia Stone were there too. And he saw them there. You remember who I'm talking about. Don't pretend like you're a fucking idiot. You've been on the podcast. Hey. Anyway. anyway. Cut that. <laughs> I have not... What? Who are you talking about? <laughs> You just got lied to, Brown. Oh, no. That was silly. <laughs> he fully believed another lie. But Aaron, oh. but Aaron knows Angles and Julia Stone. Yeah, I know. That's what I oh. do. Yeah, do yeah. you know that? Yeah. How do you know that? I just don't you know. You don't know that. <laughs> Look at Matt. <laughs> lie, lie, lie. What is Confusion. real, what is not. You know, there's not real green screens, Matt. There's pictures on them. Turn around and have a look. See? <laughs> See what you're looking at? We should have an For animated black book soon too. Another one. We're getting one done. It's been. You like haven't a told month. anyone that yet. Yeah, I know. I'm well, telling are people. Are we making now. the? Are we gonna physical copy it? No, no. We're just gonna an animate one of the black book entries, oh, and it was the right. one where Matt had the girlfriend. That one. We're gonna animate it, and that should be out. That should be done soon. Oh, is that, I don't know if that's a good one to do. That's that one where it's like. Yeah, it's very graphic, so I don't know if we'll be able to post <laughs> it to YouTube. Fuck. Oh. It could be for website or OnlyFans. Both. Website oh. or OnlyFans. Both. Yeah. Fuck it. And then maybe Brown would sign. Yeah, no. you could watch it. But yeah. we've already done some short ones of the old um, brown, cricket, the old brown ringworms. Is there anything else we needed to talk about? Oh, yeah, by the way, if you don't know this, we are running a uh, comment competition on this podcast. At the end of the season, we will pick one, any random comment on this, all of this season's episodes. We'll pick one, and that person will win $1,000. Oh, sponsors so the, too. The more comments you put in, right, the more chances you have of winning. So if you comment once, okay, if you comment 10 times, now your chances have been times by 10 times. And you can win $1,000. <laughs> so just bear that in mind. What happened? We, we uh, communicated. See, like somehow we, we did sponsors. <laughs> All right, well, let's, let's move right along to sponsors. And the first sponsor we have is manscaped.com. A fucking male grooming <laughs> fest. All right? Go there, manscaped.com. They've got, they've got 
Body spray, they got shavers, they got all sorts of cool shit, all right? I don't need to sit here and tell you all of the products that they have. Just believe us that they're good and go to manscaped.com and use our discount code, fully actual 20, okay? Fully actual 20 for 20% off your entire purchase. That's crazy shit. The body wash is delightful. These have some of the best razors money can buy, okay? And they will last you a good long time and they come in a pretty little box, don't they? There's a nose thing. Yeah, the nose thing is good. Have I got hair sticking out of my nose at the moment? Yeah. Oh no, you've done all right. Yeah, yeah, because of that. Holy shit, he because used Because of that. To. He used to, seriously. They Matt. come yeah, down to my right. lip, cunt. Very German protection. <laughs> they come down to my lip to stop flies from coming out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it keeps them in my mouth. You catch them. It's like a little... It's like a cage. They get entangled into <laughs> nostril hair. Oh, what, we met Marty's dad today. He's going to be in a video soon. It, Holy shit, it was fucked. Yeah, look, he's we'll such a, a good dude. We'll film on a website video. Oh, anyway, manscaped.com. Oh, just yeah. code, fully actual 20. Fucking go and have a look because we use their shit and so should you. What's the code again? Fully actual 20. <laughs> Nord VPN. Do you understand? These are our second sponsors. And let me tell you, Nord v, VPNs, Matt. Spell it, Matt. V. V. What's it? Can you pronounce it again? Nord VPN. Yeah, sorry. So V. It's, it's VPN. I'm, I'm, I'm spelling it out. VPN. That's the spelling, okay? My God, cunt. VPNs are so vital in today's day and age. With your busy, hectic lifestyles, you forget to put proper security on your devices you dickhead and now boom you've been scammed government's watching your every move and guess what now you don't have any money you fucking pig your wife's gonna leave you get NordVPN by going to nordvpn.com slash fully actual the link will be in the description for YouTube alright if you don't have if you're listening on Spotify nordvpn.com slash fully actual okay use our code fully actual to get a huge discount off your NordVPN plan Plus one additional month for free. Plus the best thing of all is you get a bonus gift. Okay? You get a fucking gift. It's $3.35 a month for a two-year plan. $3.35 is... That's not much money, Matt Brown. Do you know how long two years is? That's half a monthly subscription to our site. It's heaps. So I reckon everyone get NordVPN. So NordVPN.com. What's our code? Slash fully actual. And you okay. get a bunch of other cool shit. Okay. It's three thirty five a month or like $5 a month for if you go on the yearly plan. It's fucking like. It helps. It's free. It helps. Let's it's be honest. Helping. It's free. Yeah. Well, it's like if you have a coffee a day. I don't know. It's not it's free. Less, it's, it's sort it's, of free. It's less than a coffee oh, a day. All it's right? sort of free. We'll say. Look, instead of having a large coffee. Have a medium coffee once a month, and that's your NordVPN paid for. It's the same thing. For security, and you get to watch entertainment from all over the world. American Netflix, UK Netflix, all of the streaming services. It no longer do you have to live there to see them. You can now see them from Australia. Fuck. It's Nord. great. It's great. Nord and Manscaped, they're our mates. We've, yeah, we... <laughs> We do know them. <laughs> no, we do, man. We do. I, I, I chat to them via emails. I'm sorry. There's Kyle We're going from out. Manscaped. We're going out on Sunday with them. Kyle oh. from Manscaped and there's... um Sorry. Uh, Giacomo from, <laughs> from NordVPN. Giacomo. Yeah, please don't laugh at his name. <laughs> please don't laugh at his name. I'll get the email out. I'll show you. I'm not... I'm not like, you guys are making, making it so much worse. It work, probably man. is a real name. Yeah, I forgot his name. Here we go. Look, Giacomo. Thanks, Martin. Giacomo. Oh, my God. Sorry, dude. That's, thank you, Giacomo. You're doing a great job with us. <laughs> Fuck you, Matt Brown. That was my... I, I sort of paid that out, too. Giacomo oh. and Kyle are legends, all right? And our third and final sponsor is, of course, the University of Markle, all right, where there are over 200 of our videos where we have poured our blood, sweat, and tears into literally and shit and vomit and piss and gollies. And it's just... The, Michael filled a bottle with s gollies, with phlegm, over a course of six months. And in a website video, he pours it on his head. No, that's right? willpower. 
That is fucked. There's no other word for it. That is fucking disgusting. <laughs> if you want to see that shit, you can sign up for free it's for 21 days and see if you like the videos. Then after like, I don't know, maybe even two weeks, you could be like, oh, fuck. Like, I didn't really like those most of those videos. So I'm just going to cancel now. And then boom. Now you know. You know. You've been wondering, oh, fuck, is it worth it? Now you know for sure it's not. Or it could go the other way, Matt Brown, where you could laugh heartily at every video. And then you think, do you know what? Do you know what? I want to stay on because I want to get one of these 30 to 40 minute fucked up, awesome, funny videos every week for a massive laugh for, for seven ninety nine a month or $10 Australian a month. I think I appear in some of them. Yeah, yeah Matt well, Brown's in some. Matt Brown doesn't pay for it He's though. He's breastfeeding right now. No, it's just... Uh, you're breastfeeding. You should anyway, sign up. That's our sponsors. And if you can't support us in any of those other ways... I hey, I completely understand, and I'm listening to you, okay. But maybe subscribe, like, and comment. I don't know. Fuck. Yeah, it. pause the video now. Write a comment. Press the like. Let's see if we get any more engagement. Let's. I'm. I'm so sick of being. What do we normally get? On look, on average in a week, our podcast. Oh, it varies from Spotify to to YouTube as well. But on YouTube, we get like near. We get like maybe like 800 likes in a week on a new podcast and the most impressive thing about our podcast community is the fucking comments we get like 800 comments as well every week yeah well that's nice but let's see if we can up people it. are chatting people are chatting away and it's great we love you. it actually yeah thank remember you remember when we did the old Q&A's with Debonair, with Debonair Fox they'd always have a really small amount of views but like a large amount of comments yeah. so maybe whenever we do these types of content people just like to comment yeah, maybe it's just more engaging. It makes me think, hey, um, why isn't YouTube showing this to more people? Because such a small amount of people see it and such a massive engagement, you'd think, oh, maybe other people would want to see this and show it to them. But that never happens for us because swearing. of the things that we say. And because of Matt Brown in particular and the things that he has done in his past, it cripples this podcast. So we rely on word <laughs> of mouth. Why are you laughing like that? Huh? I'm sorry. Evil cunt. <laughs> Ooh. That's how he laughs after victims strewn across the lawn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, more strewn. of it. Oh, <laughs> flopped over the fence, <laughs> impaled on the bank. <laughs> bank. Actually, um, Spotify has improved though. Sorry. I yeah, thought. yeah. Spotify has improved. Fucking oath cunt. 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 <laughs> Fucking oath cunt. <laughs> hey, I had this idea for a um, segment idea. Well? I've just written down, and I was high when I thought of this. And mm, things okay. are never as funny when you're not high. Mm. Do you know what I sort of mean there? Mm. Yeah. Uh, calling friends and screaming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> just calling. Continuously screaming. Yeah, yeah. Not one word one. is uttered. We're doing that to Greg tonight. Um, hang on, let's map this out. Are you gonna? When do we hang up? Do we well, wait no, for the reaction? Hang up. They hang up. They so hang you up. have to scream until they hang what up. What if they don't? Well, they okay, we can look. Podcast. We can cap it at five minutes. Greg will. I reckon it will be a minute and a half, and he'll hang up. Should we do it in like <laughs> you start, then you, then me? That way, you guys get a break, and we can keep going. One person, because like, then they don't know it's the look, podcast. I feel like we need right. to practice this. I don't. I don't know if we should bring it out this episode. All right. I'll give a comment. Look, if you think this is a promising comment. Uh, promising segment sorry please let us know if you want to do us to trial this segment next week and we will get that done for you baby <laughs> <laughs> I'll stand up I'll stand up and I'll cheer I'll definitely give it a go yeah I'll have a go alright that's I reckon we try it today let's call Greg yeah, let's, let's see let's, let's see how test we feel. it with Greg call Greg right he now he won't hang up though I, d I don't know if I have the energy for that type yeah, of screaming okay. right now yeah. That's why I want to postpone it to next week. I, I can see that. I really, yeah. What it takes you, a lot out of me. What if you don't have the energy <laughs> next week? What? On this day in 1967, a batch of legless horses were found in a field. They were just a torso and heads, and their torsos would just sit on the ground while the head moved like it usually would. They even had tails which still flicked around. They were living, breathing horses just without any legs. It's believed there are an old breed of horse that's now extinct, but I say fuck you to that. <laughs> wow, that would be imagine that would be shocking to come across. 
a a torso like lying on the ground basically i guess and just without legs but not the legs haven't been cut off they just don't have any how do they get around exactly that's what i said i said that out loud imagine if they'd just been cut off yeah you'd probably see the blood and shit but yeah apparently yeah like a rare breed of horse holy shit would you even call it a horse I think I think so. Yeah, yeah. It's still called a horse. <laughs> yeah. I've had to think about it. Yeah, it still classifies. It still meets the characteristics. Okay. So yeah, it's agreed upon. It's agreed upon now that that's a <laughs> horse snake. Oh, horse snake! <laughs> Is it time for something so dark now? Well, oh. how about this? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Fuck no. Wait. Bye! Long break, and when we return, the black book will fill your soul. And we're back. <laughs> All right. I have sitting in my lap, okay, Matt's little black book. And in this book, he has detailed every single girl or boy or thing or corpse or animal that he has ever fucked. Himself once. And he's numbered them in order. Okay. <sighs> So every week we read out one of these entries and they will make you fuck. Is this one an ongoing chapter from last week? I'm just reading them in order now, yeah. So it's half number 54 or something. Yes. Here we go. (sighs) Like I genuinely get nervous before this. Do you understand that? I'm still struggling afterwards when reading. Dude, you know that I am. I don't sleep. (laughs) I don't sleep after the black book. Okay, so if you remember last week, his brother was the judge overseeing his trial and his brother let him off as long as he was allowed to fuck him and he also tossed Matt off (laughs) in the process. So Matt is now a free man, but he's no longer the alpha haver of the Brown family, (laughs) which is causing some severe unrest. Dude, he's been sending me messages going, I'm the alpha now. (laughs) Has he on Instagram? Instagram. (laughs) It's so good. There's a brown family. Question's been letting him have it. (laughs) (laughs) Matt Brown's little back book. (laughs) Have number 54. (laughs) 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 Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. (laughs) I don't know about that. I woke up and glanced at the clock. 2 p.m. It was my second day of freedom after narrowly avoiding jail time by letting my judge brother fuck me senseless. I had recovered from my ordeal physically, but I still felt flat, absent, numb. (laughs) I was no longer my family's alpha haver, and it was affecting my energy levels and state of mind. There was only one thing for it. I needed to get out of the house. I needed to go and have. It was time for me to groom myself. I showered, scratched the cheese out from in between my teeth, and scrubbed my gills clean. Then I put a bandage around my ankle and headed to my favorite spot to pick up new halves, the emergency waiting room at hospitals. I arrived and noticed there was a few patients in on this night, which means longer waiting times, which means more time to hunt. I limped in and spoke to the triage nurse. I seem to have sprained my ankle quite badly. Can I have it looked at, please? Another sprained ankle, Mr. Brown. That's 15 sprained ankles in the last six months. (laughs) Uh, Yes, I happen to be uh, very clumsy. (laughs) Well, you know the drill, Matt. Take a seat. And since you're low priority, it could be a few hours waiting, as you know. Mm, Perfect. Okay, go, go and take a seat. Freak. 
I limped over to the other patients. There was a larger lady sobbing and cradling her dislocated knee. I considered starting my hunt on her. Then there was a tall hairy man who had vomit down his shirt which I found quite sexy. But then I saw her. She stood out. A weak, fragile little slut sitting on her own in the corner of the room. Our eyes met and she smiled, which is basically consent. I limped over in my, with my pretend sprained ankle and sat next to this beautiful female. She had short red hair, was quite thin, and was wearing jeans and a shirt. Pretty little face, though. <laughs> oh, you don't want to smear mints on it. Hey there, I am Matt Brown. Uh, hey, Matt, I'm Claire. Pleasure meeting you, Claire. I reached my hand out and we stared into, into each other's eyes. She shook my hand and as she did, I savoured the feeling of her soft skin. As I caressed her hand, I felt myself wonder what it would feel like to shove her hands up my ass. So why are you here in emergency, Claire, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> no, it's fine. Uh, I've actually got epilepsy and I've randomly had a seizure today. I haven't had one for a while, so I thought I'd better get it checked out. What about you? Did you break your ankle or something? <laughs> no, it's just a sprain. Oh no, that sucks. How'd you do that? I had not thought of a lie as to how I sprained my ankle. I had to think on my feet. Um, uh, fuck off. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. It's fine. It's fine. Just, just don't ever ask me about my ankles. Then we spoke for hours. Conversation was flowing and getting deeper and deeper. We laughed together and she even touched my leg. My skin was starting to oil and my eyes started darting to down to her small breasts involuntarily. Uh, excuse me, Claire. Oh no, that fucking nurse had waddled over. Yes, that's me. Okay, great. Just letting you know that the doctor will see you next. Sorry for the wait. <laughs> no, that's fine. Awesome. Thank you. I mumbled and hissed and whistled under my breath at that loathsome <laughs> cunt of a bitch nurse. She had just ruined my chance at a long of it you have. I had no time. I had to go for it now. L listen, Claire, I know it's only been a couple of hours, but I feel like we have a remarkably rare connection, and I think if we don't act on this connection right now, we may regret it for the rest of our lives. What, Matt? What are you saying? I'm saying we should smush our privates together in the bathroom right now. Claire stared at me in total shock. There was a long silence, and I thought I was about to be rejected, but then <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe I'm saying this. Fuck it, let's do it. Ah! I screamed in disbelief, and all the other patients all jumped. I grabbed Claire's hand and led her to the closest disabled toilet. I locked the door behind us and turned to face my prize. I could feel my nipples expanding and creamy liquid cheese forming in my ass crack. We lunged at each other and started kissing. I grabbed her tongue with two fingers and sucked it like it was a lollipop. I grabbed her head and smooshed it into my now fist sized nipples. I tore her clothes from her and screamed. I screamed at her naked body. I sat her on the sink and belched into her red pussy, then started licking her out like a thirsty lizard at a watering hole. Toad venom leaked from my back as my lust <laughs> intensified. I freed my little brown and guided him straight into the one thing that gives my life purpose, pussy meat. The pleasure was immediate and my eyes rolled back in my head. I fucked like a high-speed sewing machine, then I vomited on her chest and started playing with it, slapping down on the pool of vomit while still thrusting forward. I wanted to make this half special and prove to myself that I will be the alpha haver in my family again. My mince volcano was about ready to pop. Then I noticed the light switch next to us on the wall. Then I had a thought. She is epileptic. I reached over and started turning the light off and on. Claire was enjoying the pounding I was delivering, but started squinting at the lights. I started fucking harder and switching the lights on, on and off, faster and faster, until it was just like a strobe light. Right before I started mincing, I look at Claire's face and she started to seize as she unloads into a full-blown seizure just as I start mincing I feel her guts and cunt twist contort and tense around my exploding little brown and it is the most intense gum I have ever come seizure foam cascaded out of her mouth and I leant down and snorted it all up her whole body seized in such a way that it was as if my she was milking my soul I finished coming and she finished seizing I leave the light on in the on position as I detach my little brown from her mince gushes onto the floor 
and my legs shake with satisfaction. Uh, what the fuck? I'm so confused. I barely paid any attention to her as I pulled my pants up and did my belt. M- Matt? Are you okay? Hmm? Oh yeah, fine. Anyway, see you later. I leave the bathroom and walk out of the hospital no longer limping. I bounded home backwards with more power and agility than I had had for months. Matt Brown is back, baby. Mm, baby. Holy shit. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh wow. You Speak of the devils. You can't read that out. You fucking can't hell! Right, that Matt. That is in like, is that wrong to do doing the light thing? I don't know. I, w- I wonder what it would feel like being inside of someone while they have a seizure. If anyone has ever experienced that, please comment below and let us know what it's like. Obviously, if it was traumatic for you, don't worry about it. But just sorry, Matt had a seizure when he was a kid. Bullshit. At Palm Springs. Really? Palm what was Beach. it like? Fuck you. What was it like, man? <laughs> Did you have some sort of dys- dysmorph- dysmorphia? No. What, what happened? I don't want to talk about it. Did you not have a seizure? Has Michael lied to me? Possibly. So. It is now time. <sighs> For one of the greatest segments that has ever been invented. Oh, yeah. Sitting to oh. our left, we have a very sad, lonely, mm, all alone, pathetic oh, man, Matthew Brown, and he has no idea how to find a partner. So Michael and I, being the beautiful friends that we are, have taken it upon ourselves to go out and single-handedly find him dates every single week with which he can have a phone date with. Do you understand? I can find dates. No, you can't, Matt. This one loves you. She said it today. (laughs) Oh, my God. Oh, my God. (laughs) So we are about to call a girl that we have prearranged that wants to have a phone date with Matt Brown, and who knows? She could be your future your wife you fucking ungrateful cunt his date number 17 for you this is gonna be horrible 17 opportunities what have you done to it 17 she loves you she said i think what's her name sarah 17 opportunities right let's just get it done are we up to how did it go from last week by the way did you yeah i'm still chatting with amy she's cool she's actually really cool so you are still chatting to her yeah she's cool so okay she's the one there's no there's no like there's no what there's no like dates or anything in the but she's brisbane girl though yeah yeah or she's like she's more closer have you said anything flirty to her uh yeah i did what was it now that we're just we're just Anyway. Did you ask her like where she lived or something? No, no. She goes, she asked me what type of girls I was into. And um, oh. cause I replied to one of her stories and she's wearing a beanie. Oh, brown and, and I said, oh. and she goes, what type of girls are you into? And I said, and cause she's a nurse. I said, I thought, well, I can't remember what I said, but I said, I said, oh, you know, girls that are into beanies with good sense of humor. Cause I said, she has a good sense of humor. Oh, oh you sweet. So, you were trying flirting. to get a fucking load off in her and then ditch her. <laughs> you love her. Doing. Well, no. well, she well sounds this like one sounds top just- three-ish. That's top three ish. Top three. I reckon today's will be top three. Are you still talking to many of them? Um, not really. How many out of the seventeen are you still talking to? Not and many. be honest. Like two. we're all we're a family here. Two. Like, like two. 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 That's let's still that's hard a third. Make, you can make the third man, today. It's hard to find someone. <laughs> yeah. I understand. Well, that. no, no, just I understand. Like talking online is so hard. Why don't you call them? FaceTime them. No, there's, no, no, there's, no. You can go into the metaverse with them. Why don't you do that tonight? Fucking I'll no. set you up. I'll set no. you up some Oculuses. We'll go. Well, that's why we've got oh. top three, three people coming at the no. end of the season. Yeah. Not, so you can see them physically. But that's not going to happen. No, live. I don't want that. You're just, you're just nervous and shy, which is normal, okay? But we're here to help. That's what you keep fucking forgetting. We will walk you through everything. If you're having a tough time, just grab my hand and say, Marty, I'm nervous and I'll fucking make you feel better. I'll help too. Fuck. It's what we're here for. All right, here we go. So this is Sarah. Sarah. 
Oh, oh, get ready, Matt. Get ready, so Matt. Shut up, Matt. Get ready. Don't do anything stop, stupid. Stop, None of your fucking stop, dumb stop, humming stop. this week. Hello. Oh, hello there. Am I speaking with Sarah? Is that correct? You are. Oh, Sarah, we are so happy to have you on. You are currently on the Marty and Michael Fully Actual Podcast, which is actually the best fucking podcast in the whole world. Oh, my God. I know it I know. is. I'm a big fan. It's a big deal. And right next to us, oh my God. we have a very shaky, oh. large man called Matthew Gregory Ooh, Brown. Large. And he, a large man. Oh, he's so thick. He's a thick <laughs> red boy quivering with nerves Ooh. right now. Quivering like with nerves. I like the sound of that. Yeah. And Matt would love nothing more than to just have an opportunity to get to know you a little bit and see if there's a connection, a spark there, and maybe you guys are meant to be together. I'll leave it over to okay. you, Matt. Good luck, Matt. You can do this, Matt. Hey, <laughs> Matt, confidence. Remember, confidence. Come on, Matt. Chicks love confidence. Here we go. What go. do you got? Hey, Sarah. <laughs> oh. Hey, Oh, this never gets any easier every week. Go, you did good last week. Don't go worse. Try play hard get to get Taylor to fuck off or something. No, I can't because she already sounds cool and I'm then yeah, I yeah, panic. Don't be so play hard to get. That. Tell, us, tell us something bad. Like what? <laughs> Just be, be a bit mean to her. Anyway, hey, Sarah, how are you? I'm good. How are you, Matt? I'm good. Say whatever. Whatever. Um, <laughs> where- <laughs> um, whereabouts are you from? I'm from the Gold Coast. Matt Another Goldie. The Gold Coast. That's only an oh. hour away for everyone at home. An, an hour's drive. An hour, a quick hour drive. But it's yeah. 15 minutes, Matt, bounding, bounding backwards. Oh, <laughs> she'll pick you up. You uh, don't yeah. have to drive. That's out. good for Matt because he doesn't um, like to drive. I'm from, from the Gold Coast. I grew up there. Oh, oh. Look at, oh. It's always location. What are the fucking chances that you guys have so much in common? It's that's crazy. <laughs> oh, did you grow up on the Gold Coast? Oh, look at Matt. He's gone on his yeah, own. It's always Gold Coast with Matt. Because he just... grew up there. <laughs> Say something. Ask her something else. Well, well, talk about Queensland's history. The play hard to get. Oh, I don't know any. Oh, oh man, oh. man, come on, man. James Cook and shit. Ask her out. That was Impressive Byron Bay. Intelligence. Ask her out on a date. Tell her you're it's smart. only an hour away. Say you'll drive <laughs> no, down this weekend. Tell her you're really smart. Say you'll drive down this weekend. Um, Sarah, tell um, what do you do? <laughs> Fuck. Um, He's frazzled. Sarah. <laughs> oh, he can't even say you'll talk. drive down. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. Um, uh, Why Sarah, not? hard to get. Oh, you don't I'm want not, to drive down to see me? Play no, I'm not say saying no, I don't. Uh, I'm not saying I won't. Immediately I'm just saying, changes. I'm not saying that. Oh. Well, Sarah, would you let Matt Brown stay at your? House, if um, he were to drive down, yeah, he can stay in my bed. Oh, wow. oh! He, no, see, that's how you do Matt! it. See, that's how you do it. So now you have a turn and say something. Um, say something flirt- cool. Say something flirtatious. Be like, cool. Do something flirty. What with What makes you let me stay at your house in your oh! bed? And you haven't even met me yet. Because I heard you're a big handsome hunk. Oh. <laughs> oh, so we said that, Matt. We said you're a big handsome hunk, Sarah. Yeah, I got a question. Yeah. Have we met before? No. Oh, Sarah, I've got another question. Would you, have, yeah. would you ever lie to me? Yes. So I'm going to ask that question. Have we ever met before? Maybe. Oh! oh, 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 oh. <laughs> why, are you think, why are you saying this? There's something about this voice. I just know it. Maybe she's from Kumra. Maybe she is. <laughs> why? Who's in Kumra, Matt Brown? Here we go. Is this Isla? Oh my god! Oh, no. I it. Is it? <laughs> no. You can't just call. You can't call just call that. people that. <laughs> it so is. I just her voice sounds so familiar. <laughs> yes, oh, it, it is. is. It, is it? it? It might be. The gig, but it fucking look, is. The gigs, up. I knew it. gigs up. Holy fuck! How yeah, no. I just that? she's got because <laughs> I've spoken. Oh, I've spoken to her a few times in my life, but she's got a uh, that she has a little flirtatious. You know, you remember that he locked that yeah. yeah. He's exactly. got a huge part of his you brain. Know, remember my bed anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, well, damn it! We tr- yeah. Yeah. Is, I mean. Everyone listening, this is Isla O'Doherty. This is Jackson's sister, and we call her and ask her. That was to be very on. yeah. But Matt has Good somehow try. memorized her fucking voice after meeting her I once. Think- I think Matt has a crush on me. Yeah, I do. I, I, yeah, I, I do have a little crush on you. Like, I holy shit! I mean. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Now, How I- can I not? She's cool and cute and fun. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <gasps> you big hug. <hump. laughs> 
<laughs> All right, now, All right, uh, so oh, I'm dressed like an idiot for this. Well, one. Matt has your Instagram, Isla. He'll text you. Yeah, he'll message you. <laughs> on Instagram. Isla, Isla, bro, Isla, yeah, he's gonna message you on Instagram. I've slid into her DMs before. I laughed at some of her posts. Oh, I have so you guys little chats. comments uh, trying to be funny. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, there you I'm go. a loser. I'm well, going home. Now, if you want, Matt, you, you can kiss the microphone to end the date. I um Ooh. actually no I can't because Isla's not even no. wanting a boyfriend. Isla, will you kiss the phone it. if Matt kisses yeah, the that's microphone? Perfect for you, Matt. I mean, if he does, I might. And the oh. count of three, <laughs> on the count of three, we, you guys have to kiss at the same time. This is a digital kiss. These are a big deal these days. <laughs> three, so two, one. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that's his third kiss he's had. Oh, Pat's kiss isn't getting more like Holy passionate. Shit. He's yeah. putting, they're becoming meaningful. That sounded like a really good kiss, Matt. It was beautiful. <laughs> oh, 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 you guys have digital kiss <laughs> now. You guys have digital Holy kiss shit. now. That's hot. That's hot. Oh. We fucking did it. Oh. Well, thank so you so hot. much, Isla. We appreciate you being a part of the Brown. Yeah, thanks for no coming. Hey, oh, hey for Isla, me. you're definitely number one. Oh. oh. We get her down Thank for the finale. You hang up. You. Oh, <laughs> 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 you do Do oh, bring uh. that out more. What more? <laughs> I don't know. If I remember that? That was so good. You motherfuckers! <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that. Why are you no. always trying to fuck with me, dude? Think about it. You would marry Isla. So this is meant to be. It was an emergency. We had to find someone in a anyone very would short marry period Isla. She's a legend. I yes. know. So that's why we. This is the beginning. This could be the one. Isla's not into me. That's silly. Don't try and convince oh, me. Well, Brown, no, we you, might have no. sparked Brown, a spark. Brown. This is part of the problem, cunt. You're sitting there in your self-pity. You don't know that she don't like you unless you go over there and stare at her breasts. So get over there and have a crack. Otherwise, you'll be sitting on a toilet till you're 50. You're fucking... <laughs> here comes 40. And you're uh, sitting on a toilet. No, I bought your new chair the other day, Brown. and oh, you really? Hasn't like it arrived? Yeah. Should yes. We? Oh, it's Should so we? tempting to bring no, it. No, no, no. We'll no, no. We'll we'll we stick to the. We got rule. eighteen, nineteen, and then on twenty. So two more episodes after this one, then we reveal the. But it is chair. a special occasion. Let me just get this. I think I can sit on it, and it is. I will be able to do that for ten episodes, right? Brown. Oh, it's, it's wonderful. A fucking we chair. found. We loved it. How good was it? It honestly, I can't wait. Would Isla see. like it? Yeah, Isla will love it. No. Okay. No, I reckon everyone would love that chair. All right. You lying to me? It's a great chair. Anyway, anyway, we've nearly fucking oh, forgotten Michael's Bible again. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. Sorry about that. All right, here we go. Uh, Michael's. This is this little bit here, right? Michael has written his own version of the Bible. <clears throat> Instead of Jesus, he is Bezus, and he is the one who uh, is behind the Be More Be movement, spearheading it. And he's written an entire Bible of um, really powerfully wise thoughts and a way to live that will guarantee you happiness forever. So listen closely and absorb it if you can, cunt. I miss Isla already. I, you wanna- you You're want in Isla. this, you're I in this honestly chapter, reckon Brown. Matt yes. wants Isla. Yeah, well, you guys, you never know. This could be forever. This could be it. Look Imagine, at what I'm wearing. Yeah, you look cool. Wait, she's not here to see you, Matt. <sighs> she only heard you, it was a digital kiss. Fuck. Anyway. Chapter 777. She's not here. There's all this talk in town about resetting the brown without disarming the ones who wear the crown. <laughs> if the people knew just how brown they had it, then the brown's reset would be something we'd all come to regret it. SCS is coming, which will make you scream SOS. Unless you fall for the new brown's dress, which most of you will, I guess. Sorry. <laughs> That's you, Brown. That's oh, you. I like the brown rhyming ones. They're good. A little poem there little for that brown, one. Little brown poem. A little poem for everyone there. Lying to Lachlan. Lying to Lachlan. Lying to Lachlan. Lying to Lachlan. Yeah. And this is a segment where we call Lockie. You all know him. Lockie. 
Lachlan Gottfried, and Got we fried. and we tell him a lie. Okay, yes! lie to him, and this, this is yeah. this is perfect because <laughs> this is perfect because it's Wednesday now. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, it's a different oh, day. Not, he yeah, won't yeah. register. Oh, he, yes. He only knows things for certain days on those days. Right. Yeah, That's how like, lucky he works. Remember, see you next 6 30 next Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. So he, he, he thinks won't expect then it. We have fully fucking done Given it. Given up. So I reckon before this, bong break. Bong break. Can you remind me to take my phone off of um, private? Not private. It's not private now. Yeah, I've started again. Started. Oh, I like it. As soon as you way. stop, it just adds back on, and then quicker as you get older. Yeah, I know. Thirty-five. Look at thirty-five. Yeah, fuck. I've had to start doing cardio again. Yeah. If you don't maintain, you're fucked. It's fish. And we're back. All right, let's call Lachlan. <clears throat> We've decided that we're going to lie to him. Him and I know Jackson's going overseas, but I don't know if Lockie is going with him. But we're going to lie to him and say, "Oh, we're thinking about having a couple of weeks off." Yeah. And, and we might fucking fuck it. We might come with you guys. So that's the lie. Oh, I he, don't think Lockie's in Dubai. Yeah, I know. Not right now. Okay. Dubai, Abu Dhabi, because you've said both now. <coughs> isn't Abu Dhabi in... Isn't, no, they're two different cities. Sorry. No, they're only, they could be even two different countries. They're both in the Arab Emirates. It's in the Emirates. We're going to the Emirates. <laughs> All right, here, here we, we go. go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, oh. He may know that we're lying because we've done this four weeks in a row. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> no, no, dude. We filmed the podcast yesterday. We filmed the um, Michael. There was a fucking Michael's volcano book. in Michael's house. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we filmed. We filmed, we called the other locky last night. We filmed the. Po- it's Wednesday. We we do podcast on fucking Tuesday nights. But um, I was just calling. When when are you and Jackson? Are you going overseas with Jackson as well? <laughs> um. Yeah. Next week. Next week, and and where are you guys going? Um, Dubai and Europe. Yeah, because fuck, that might work out perfect. Because we're literally thinking of, we're having a week off in like two weeks, and we're thinking, nah. like, fuck it, and we may as well bloody come to where you guys are for a bit. Not buying it, <laughs> dude, dude. I swear to God, this is not the podcast. Oh, I know you wouldn't leave your missus for more than a fucking two days. Two days. <laughs> <laughs> I do miss them. Well, <laughs> M- Michael's got something to add. All right, Michael. Dude, uh, there is a it. fifth Hunger Games coming out. And that is a fact. You can Google that till the cows come home, man. I don't give a fuck about Hunger Games. Yeah, well, there's a fifth one coming out. So read about it, baby, because it's happening. <laughs> and, dude, yeah, well, we actually got you because we said we were thinking about going. We yeah. weren't. We, we didn't actually. You thought we were going. You thought that we were considering oh, going to Abu Dhabi. Yeah. And to be honest, I oh, haven't even thought about it once. <laughs> yeah, we oh. didn't think about it. We got you, man. Apart oh. from telling you. And I'm actually pretty sure there is a fifth Hunger Games coming out. <laughs> so look who the liar is now. Or we just, yeah, look who got got. You got pranked. Man, you can't use that. Use a, use a deadly, yeah. Use just like the video. You're crazy. <laughs> All right, well. Never, never, Never safe. Never safe around you. Every week we get lucky. It's, Every it's amazing. <laughs> Just because it was a different day, you didn't get it. Because yeah. normally we do Tuesdays. You're like, shit, it's not Tuesday. You can't tell apart different days, we've realized. Yeah, yeah. So now we're going to call you probably next week on Tuesday and we'll be like, oh, no, we do the podcast on Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be so like, confused. So yeah. No, we'll go Thursday then. <laughs> <laughs> and if we've told you that, then we'll go Monday then. <laughs> we'll go have all the days. Have you done the Bachelor Brown bit? Hey? Have you done the Bachelor Brown yeah, bit? We yeah, did we, Isla. We called Isla. Yeah, I was just there. So I knew it was today. <laughs> oh, no, true. Oh, oh, damn, oh, damn it. it. Oh, so Isla ruined it, but we still did get him a bit. Yeah, we got you a bit because it was a different day a bit. That still counts. That's four out of four <laughs> times we've got him. I started to think, man. I started to think. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Anyway, I we'll, love let, that you, we'll let you thank run you, along, Lockie. but thank you for um, I'll, uh, I'll believing us. At the clock, hey? And just remember that next time we call you, it could be something really serious. So just be open-minded, at least. <laughs> okay.
I'll, I'll keep my mind open about Yeah, keep your feelings there. All right, baby All right. boy. We love you. Suckle tits, baby. Suckle tits like you mean it, cunt. See you, Lucky. See you, Lucky. Sorry. Right. Lucky. Oh, oh, man. It's so that, fun getting him like that. That was so good. Getting him We're that getting badly. good at it. Like, he was like, that's embarrassing for yeah. him. <laughs> you know, do you know what I mean? Like, that's his four hook, times in a row. Hook, line, and sinker. He actually <laughs> thought that we considered that. When making this segment not look like lying to Lockie, it's like, how dumb is Lockie? <laughs> yeah. That's like, I, feel, I feel a bit bad now. Should we send him some money? Yeah. I I'm going to send him 50 bucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's tell Look, I, I'm genuine. I'm going to send him fifty dollars right now. Yeah, really? Yeah. Should I? Yeah, I reckon. And say sorry. Um, s- sorry for not paying you for being. Well, dumb. maybe, maybe, right? I can send him a hundred bucks next week for the, and then I'll call him like, oh fuck, did I just send you hundred bucks? Shit, dude, can you send me back that money? And then that is the lie. <laughs> yeah, he he'll send the money back. He yeah yeah. Then he's got Idiot. five times in a row we've got him. <laughs> That's happening. Well, even if he just believes that I accidentally sent that. I know. There's so many ways to win oh, this game. Oh, but you didn't. You actually sent it on sent purpose. purpose. And, and made it, sent it out. Lie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, All right. comment below if you have any lie suggestions to Lockie, and we'll see if we can work it in. Well, let us move on. Ah, it's time for the cow, which is the question, which is the comment of the week, which we choose, and then we print it out, and we stick it on a board. Um, I've got a couple to print out and put on. Oh, sorry, I've got them here. I just got to put them on okay so it, it's there's a couple missing okay so there's a couple com- mis- missing at the moment dirt, but dirt. if you oh. are on the <laughs> if oh. you are on the board you have a one in 39 chance of also winning a thousand dollars at the end of the season so that's a separate thing to the random thousand dollars we're going to give to a commenter so just comment your hearts away try and comment something funny and have a look through the comments see if you see something funny and give it a like comment of the week Matt Brown comment oh, of the week Matt Brown Sorry. Echo double. Go. Sorry. Proceed. Con- um, <laughs> sorry. Comment of the week went to Connor. G8189. Oh. And his comment was, yeah. Marty's dad is German Greg. <laughs> mm. <laughs> we liked that when we read it. Out. We read that out loud and we thought that's that's funny. And we laughed much harder than we did just then. Dude, everyone's going to be commenting. I reckon now Matt I Dag- pick one one week to surprise you guys on it. Then the next week, Matt. Oh, it. that is not a bad yeah, idea. So it's new to you guys the first time. Yeah. Because and if, you if we, it, it's if, we clank, clank. if we can pick the comment that you're going to read out, then we get to have $100. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay, yeah, if you want to research and have a quick guess. Ooh, it's, Greg. it's Greg, it's Greg, everyone. Oh everyone shut, it's Greg. Greg. What? Dude. What? Um I can't believe it. Have you seen on Facebook? Mate, piss off. <laughs> Dude, Loki <Lockie> is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky is dead. Yeah, dude, he died in a car accident. <laughs> Michael, that was oh, fucking again, ter- again, <laughs> that was terrible, Michael. <laughs> oh, Greg, when are you coming oh. on the fucking podcast, you fucking weak dog cunt. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's so inviting i can't wait um maybe um maybe uh i don't know one one friday night or saturday when you change it to that we're doing it wednesday nights now does that help you no i mean yeah. kevin gabe casey yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, what no, you- i am um, i've why don't you hire I, I, another coach to do your job and then you can come onto the podcast? Just for one yeah. week. No, nah, it's difficult. No one no one no one can do it as well as me. Yeah, that's true. Some of the coaching yeah. staff there are fucking terrible. No, Smith is the best. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not. No, no I'm joking. Yeah, have, have you got, is this on the is this on the podcast? Yes, it's all recorded, Greg. <laughs> oh no. No, it's just Smith no. is the best. Hey, Greg, well, I, I want to I wanna, I wanna, Greg, I want to I heard... call up the Brown. I want to be on the Brown segment. Oh, I want no. to be oh, Brown. Oh, Brown. Yeah, I know. No, he's, he gets annoyed now when we get boys on. Otherwise, we would have had you on this week. Oh, <laughs> you've actually had boys on. I didn't even know that. Yeah, I had one <laughs> called Ethan. And then Jackson as well. Oh. But now he's, oh. he, now he's in love with Isla, Jackson's <laughs> sister. Oh, no. So, yeah. That's oh, okay. There. Greg, I heard okay. you got a little upset about the, the bashing of the name Greg. 
Mate, I couldn't believe that when I I like was looking at the Instagram snippet or whatever, and and and, and Kristen's and Kristen's like laying next to me as I'm looking at, it and she's like, "What the hell's going on over there?" And I'm like, "Mate, you're just abusing my wait up. I'm getting KFC. I'm getting KFC. I'm going." Oh, oh. He's gone. <laughs> Wait, picture hey, this. His <laughs> wife just <laughs> looks over at him. Oh, fucking Greg, <laughs> such a shit name. <laughs> Bro, Greg as if you'd be Smith. called Greg. There's, there's like a bit of Smith in there as well. And Smith is really common. <laughs> but mainly Greg. <laughs> <laughs> and we're talking about that shit. That shit, <laughs> that shit those names are. Up? Hey, Buzzy. Oh. Hey, come, up there. come up here, come on. You're up, Buzzy? Come on. Oh, good boy, still dizzy, hey? Welcome to the podcast, Bosley. Come on up, man. You get up. Oh, oh, oh Bosley's oh, here. Oh, oh, my. Schnick. Oh, he's such a oh, perfect yes. darling. He's being such a clingy fuck because he hasn't felt well today. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's so good right now. Oh, yeah. So. All right, questions. Well, anyway, yeah. moving on to the questions. And this <laughs> is a segment where we answer your questions that are commented on the Marty and Mikey Fully Actual YouTube channel. And if you want your question answered, answered, just comment your question. We answer the most liked questions first. So after you comment your question, have a scroll through and like the questions that you think, oh, fuck, I wouldn't mind hearing the answer to that question. We love your questions, so ask them. Plus, every time you comment something, you increase your chances of winning $1,000 at the end of the year. It just makes financial sense. We used to be bankers. Dividends. All right. Question is from Laura Andrews. Bitch. Oh. No, so. you're not Laura. Oh, sorry. I got gotcha. you. All right, boys. How would you handle a dingo eating your baby situation? Do you know what I'm talking about before? I- yeah, yeah. So that dingo wrapped up that baby yeah. and stole it away? Yeah. Oh, Greg. Oh, Greg. It's so- no, it's always good for you. got some room for Greg. Are you spoil? I'm spoiling your podcast. But no, no. Just, what, what did I'll your wife say? say <laughs> what were you? Mate, he- what she was she hearing? She, she, she was just hearing like a bashing of the name Greg. And she thinks it's the funniest thing. She thinks it's the funniest thing she's ever seen in her life because... Have, have you noticed? Have you noticed that every ad campaign that has the name Greg in it, they're making fun of the guy that's Greg. Really? It's like Greg here, like Greg here, forgot to get his car insurance on time. Like, and, and they the always bash. Yeah, they always bash the name Greg as being like the guy that just is a dickhead, and, and that's. And she thinks that's hilarious. So then when you started bashing my name as well, she thought that was even funnier. Did uh, she listen to the whole thing? We fully hook into Greg. Oh, yeah. And she, Smith. Yeah, she loved it. Yeah, loved it. Oh, it's a really good name. Oh, I can't believe how bad our da- our parents were. Like, I Matt. know. Like, oh, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's You're telling me. Like, my brother's name is Matthew as well. But <laughs> our parents must be on the same... <laughs> And and Matt's dad Matt is called Greg. Maybe you are Matthew. Matt's dad. And Matt Matthew is your brother. Smith. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, how so bad? bad? Like, there's no imagination in our parents at all. It's like the first name oh. that they could think of. Hey, Greg, what's your middle name? Charles. Oh, that's not too bad. Oh. It's, yours well, is it was pretty- John or something. Yeah. <laughs> what is no, yours? You stone Fox. Mine is Gregory. Oh, my yeah, dad yeah. is John. Yeah, but same. Yeah, yeah it's the same. Your dad's name yeah, is right. your yeah. name. Yeah, it is the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But I, I actually hate. I hate my name. I actually hate. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, like, well, I, and you I can't even. Of, you I can't kind even of agree nickname. with you. You can't because even have a nickname for it either. Yeah, like, my nickname is yeah, Greggy. 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 Oh, Greggy. No, but Greggy. usually you take syllables yeah. away. You can't take it. You could just go. I know. You just go. Grr. Grr. I, I love it how, how you said it sounds like a sound, like like a, a noise, like Greg. Yeah. I hate how it has <laughs> the same letter at the like the end of it at the start. G and G at the end is shit. Oh, <laughs> you shouldn't do that. And it, any, Greg any, spelled backwards is Gerg, which, which is, is the same, same word. word. <laughs> it's so shit. Oh, sort of. No, it's but exactly oh. the same. You write it down on paper. Greg and Gerg are exactly the same. Hey, just Greg, backwards. Yeah. Greg, what's They're just backwards? What's more of a common name? <laughs> what's more of a common name, Smith or Brown? 
I reckon Smith. Yeah, yeah, but Smith Brown is... would be the second most. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, Look it up. Look it up. Look at Google it. Google it, and I bet you. Yeah, which is I bet more common. Smith. I reckon, Smith, or Brown. I reckon Smith would win that. But yeah, Gr- Brown yeah. isn't far behind, and Brown is just nasty. It's like you just picture like a fucking sewer drain or something. Brown, Brown. <laughs> And oh, it's a very common name. Yeah, and Smith, and is, Smith like, is like you just—I think picture like a family from the 1950s, but a really poor one. Yeah, with a pitchfork. You've got like a oh. pitchfork. <laughs> You're on well, the what farms. About, what about what about your last? Both of your last names are just yeah, absolutely nah. shocking. Oh, fuck, that, that, yeah, they're true. terrible, but like they're so uncommon. Yeah, that, you can't. There's get no. Them. Yeah, there's no point in even mentioning them, really. Because, because let's face it, your parents weren't that imaginative either. Michael and Marty. Martin. Or Martin. Martin is a very rare name. <laughs> I'll have you know. I guess Michael's pretty common. But yeah, yeah, that's true. Yours is kind of shit too. Yeah, it's quite common. But at least we have M's at the start of our name. Yeah, yeah. And you can yeah, do shit anything with, our with names. a G. Anything with a G is a shit name. Like yeah. Matt, Greg, one syllable names are like, it sounds like vo- someone's trying Terrible. to vomit. Terrible. 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 George, <laughs> awful name. George, Gary, they're all bad. Gary. All bad. Gary's quite Anything shit. with a G. Look out of those three, I'd say Greg yeah, is G by far is the shit. worst. It's agreed that G is shit. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, well that's it's true. Anyway. But anyway, were you really literally trying to prank call me about another death? Yeah. yeah <laughs> we, we, we have a segment where we lie to Lockie every no, week. No, don't tell him. To, why? We're oh, trying to get don't him. tell him. We'll try and get you. No, you got to listen to the podcast, Greg, but we'll be calling you quite uh, often now, my friend. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for the call. Uh, back to it. Laura Andrews asks, how would you handle a dingo eating a baby situation? Right, right. Oh, right, yeah. Right, right. Um, yeah, these are good questions. Um, I'd probably like a shit. Fuck. I got to call the cops or the, the ambulance. <laughs> Next question is from... No, wait. <laughs> wait. Wait. See you, boss. Okay, so Sorry let, about that, let, let's just think here. So uh, w- w- we don't know that a dingo's taken the baby. The baby's just no, gone. So the baby's missing. So You're on just, Fraser Island. So we've so just found island. out that it's What's the dingo Fraser? that's taken it. It's somewhere near. Yeah. So it was, we've just found out it was a dingo that's taken our on baby. On Fraser Island. I would, uh, I would um, poison all of the dingoes. No, I would call I'd, the cops or an I'd poison them all. Hey, revenge. Actually, probably, I'd, I'd, I don't know. I'd seek revenge and I'd poison all of the dingoes by putting uh, rat poison, heaps of it, in babies. Yeah, I, yeah, I guess you... Well, and then they take another baby. Well, guess what? Now you pay with your life, can't they? They learn a lesson each time. 100%. And now <sighs> they're evolving and I've helped their species. Or they get immune to babies. I hate this question. <laughs> All right, next question from Dylan Dusso. Sorry, depending where he's from, Dusso. Um. All right, uh, Marty, do you only own Harley Davidson t-shirts? Um. No. Oh. I also own. Oh shit! <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, maybe look, maybe I have to go and have a look through my cl- closet, okay? I do like the Harley Davidson, the look of the shirts. I don't own one and um I've never ridden a motorbike in my life. Have you, Brown? What, I'm ridden a motorbike? No. <laughs> do you reckon you could ride a moped? Yeah, easy. I've ridden a moped. I wouldn't class that as a motorbike though. Would you do a motorbike? Yeah. All right. But All right. how about how next much w- next week then? 200 bucks to get you a, on a motorbike. <laughs> You're gonna pay me two hundred dollars to ride a motorbike. Yeah, but you gotta bring it. <laughs> Who's you, got a motorbike? You, Sort that out. Greg has a motorbike. Where's the phone? It's on the yeah. floor, just there. Brown doing. Ah, oh, sorry. Next question is from Jessica Walsh, um, who comments a lot. So thank you, Jessica. I see your comments a lot. Um, can you tell me if a plastic spoon or a wooden spoon hurts harder? Surely you boys would know by now. Uh, a wooden spoon. A wooden spoon is. It's really shockingly painful. Mm. Yeah, it it stings. A few on this podcast, actually. If you a full swing to the ass hit and you know about it, it burns for so long. Yeah, there's a, a there's a burning sensation. It's like a, a deep, deep pain. It's like a fire in your heart. 
Nah, just where you hit like the person. Yeah, we are certain that it would be a wooden spoon. See, we have a lot of knowledge about shit like that. Science. Like legitimately, we have broken so many of those on our bodies. Next, Next question, question is from, from James, James. James. <laughs> Kirkpatrick. Kirk All right. All right. Um, um, I've altered his question because it kind of didn't make sense, sense, but, but it, it will well now. now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. His question is, um, if you had to give your mate your arm or your leg to save the life, like you had to do it, which one would you give, your arm or your leg? I would give a leg. It's so easy. I'd give a leg and then I'd, I'd become a stand-up comedian and just do only jokes about disabled people the entire fucking time. Because guess what? Now you can. Yeah, holy shit. I would watch your stand-up. If I had one leg, man, I'd just be standing there screaming, pointing at it, being like, where's my leg? <laughs> For a whole hour, I would do that. Or no, if you had no arms. <laughs> be so that would good. be so much funnier. <laughs> Running out and just <laughs> and turning around. Like, oh, like this? Can you do that? Yeah, you still be able to see. No, are, I don't think so. There are definitely people in that situation. Yeah, I know, but like, how do you do shit without arms? They give you little arms with little hooks on them. You're being really gross right now, man. Sorry. You're talking about pirates. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh god um, <laughs> This is going horribly wrong Would you do leg or arm? I would have to cut off the leg Yeah I think leg Yeah I'm leg And then I'll get one of those bouncy ones That you can run with And you can get Yeah replacement legs You, you sit down in a chair And no one knows That you don't have a leg There's many benefits um, um, Next question is from, from Jonathan, Jonathan Smith, Smith. <laughs> John Smith Are you oh, fucking oh, kidding oh, me? Oh. <laughs> This is it is an about. epidemic, you <laughs> fucking shit named dogs. You mutt. John Smith. Fuck <laughs> off. <It's> Next question. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll allow it. Look, it's not his fault. All right. Come on. This is another science question, but this has actually got quite a lot of likes. Um, do you boys, uh, sorry, uh, question for the podcast. Do you boys think there are more nipples in the world or eyeballs in the wall in the world? Keep in mind, dogs have lots of nipples and spiders have lots of eyes. Sure, he'll be more Ooh. eyes. Do spiders have nipples? No, but they have lots of eyes. Are you sure spiders don't have nipples? No, I'm not positive. But well, I think you no. are positive, and I think you've looked into it, <laughs> and that's disgusting. I reckon eyes because there's probably more spiders. Yeah, right? but there's there's millions of spiders. Look, yeah, I'm gonna go. They've got eyes. eight. Got eight. Dogs have a lot too, and there are a lot of dogs. But overall, I if I had to guess, I'd say there's more spiders in the world than dogs, and that is the deciding factor. Yeah. 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 I agree. Flies that have nipples? No. You know that for a fact. Yeah. You sick fuck. Check that was $180, Matt. That you just lost? <laughs> you paid $180. Yeah. That's, That's so how much you got to pay for Olympic merch. That's fucked. We did it for that video, remember? Yeah. What was it again? Olympics Neds Ned oh, Take yes. it to the Neds level Next question is from oh, Serotonin shit. Finder um, right. Boys the Cricket World Cup Is coming to Australia This year oh, Is it this year um, And uh, they're just wondering you got any plans To invade the pitch At any point Oh maybe I wouldn't rule it out um, I what? feel like Easier. Most people would just be like oh, Really you don't Again know You're again. doing that again <laughs> yeah. and, we'd, and maybe we should just Wear shirts that says Yes we're doing it again or just again. <laughs> or we're doing it for the first time. <laughs> yeah, we'll wear shirts saying, this is our first time doing this. Oh, oh fuck. And you kick a goal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, You know, uh, if we can put a weird, <laughs> dumb enough spin on it, yeah, sure, we'll do it again. Fucking the first time we only got a $750 fine each. The next one will definitely We had a be reach rough. restriction and no one saw the video. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Sorry. All right, next question. Um, what does Greg... Br oh, sorry, from Dylan B. Uh, what does Greg B Brown Dylan. think of the podcast and his son's sick, oh, twisted yeah. book of halves? Uh, to tell you the truth, he's um, <laughs> he doesn't quite fully get the concept of a podcast yet. He just thinks it's a radio station. Um, does does your he, dad... Has, have yeah, you ever made him listen to this? No. Nah. He's Dude, heard me, I've shown him videos and bits and pieces, but... I don't think it's fully grasped. What would he say? 
be your dad, Greg, <laughs> yeah. right now, and, <laughs> and, and and pretend you've just been read the fucking all of the. If you read the book, you'd be like, he'd be like, what? <laughs> he just be like, what? He like, kept saying what? Channel him. So shocked at that yeah, story. Channel him now and have his reaction. Oh. Close your eyes for like ten seconds and, and then come him. back as He's feel him. Greg. He doesn't have the same laugh as me, but his body and shake is, is the same as me. Where we laugh the same, yeah, yeah. but just different sounds. Now let it manifest you. <laughs> is, oh, that, that, is, that that. is that being him? Is that being? It's a bit of him. But um, yeah, he hasn't watched it yet. I, I feel like I should just bring him on one day to give him an insight into this. Um, <laughs> and uh, what about, what, what about your mother? What, what would your mother say? Cameron? <laughs> <laughs> Her name's Janet. Her name's oh, Janet. Yeah. Janet. Sorry, your mother uh, I don't name's know Janet. What, I don't know what she would say. Um, would she be proud of you? <laughs> <laughs> Would you be proud to see what her forty-year-old son is up to? <laughs> I'm no. not forty. I'm yeah. thirty-five. He's one hundred and thirty-six. No, one hundred and seventy. Thirty-five years oh, on man. Earth, I'm but 35. prior to that, he's lived a long life on the planet Quelch. Okay, we all know it. With my mother choir. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> very good. Tough day. Getting lied to left, right, and center. Getting bullied. All right. Next question is from Andy. R-O-O -O, or it could yeah, be Andy Rue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Um, um, how did you guys, you guys come, come across, across Ashley, Ashley from on your latest website, website video? video. Um, believe it or not, Ashley came onto us <laughs> and just and saw us filming and like just literally walked over and then we noticed um, Ashley walking over and just swarmed Ashley. Ashley hit Michael with a brick and it happens a lot where we're filming like website videos and fans even today a fan just come they see what we're doing and they just walk in over and then we just include them in the video so if you ever see us filming just come on over because you'll probably get to throw something at us or break something on us but just be aware we will be very strange to you yeah sometimes like mm. we have to like sort of put our whole bodies around you a bit yeah yeah we will embrace you we'll be touching you making strange sounds it's not okay. No, no, it's okay. It's like a big hug. It's like a warm hug. It's okay. I'm coming around to it now. We had two the other day throw a shitload of eggs at Marty. <laughs> Firing squad style. He's got bruises. Neck. All, all over my back. He's hot. Final question. <coughs> um, it's from VY. Um, boys, if you never met, do you think you would both be, uh, he says influencer, but would you both be in social media? It's not a bad. I wonder question. what we would have it's done. It's so hard to say, isn't it? Would you have so gone? In, would you reckon you would have got there on your own? Would I probably have would have gone to uni or something after, and stayed in Toowoomba, gone to uni. Yeah, you'd be but a fucked up teacher. I reckon I'd be. No, I was. If I stayed in Toowoomba, I was <coughs> heaps keen on getting good grades when I was in Toowoomba. As soon as I moved to Brisbane, I was like, "Fuck it, can't." Yeah, party lifestyle. Yeah. I wonder if I'd still be like tennis coaching. Yeah, I think you'd be um, tennis coaching, and living at Greg's, <laughs> living, oh. at Gre living at Greg's. You'd be, um, you'd have a receding <laughs> hairline, and, a, and you'd be quite fat. I'd be a lazy coach, <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what Mike. Living would be. with Greg would be all right, though. And oh yeah, living with, oh, maybe I'll ask Greg. Yeah, I think this is the only career option that we've gone down where I wouldn't have been super depressed with my life it's much nicer when you do the things that you like doing yeah especially the podcast is fun remember if you do what you love you'll never work a day in life exactly right man and that's Holy why fuck. that's olympic that's why you love concrete that's fully olympic isn't that right matt brown it's wholesome would you rather be javelin or shot put Matt, I would be javelin, Matt, I think. Matt knows a lot about <laughs> concrete. I don't know. Yes, you do. We're not talking about I've concrete. I've heard you. I'm not going to talk about concrete. <laughs> it's your favourite topic. No, as it's soon not. as, oh, how's your day at work, man? <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Oh, another slab. <laughs> he gets upset when you bring up tiles. Let's just say that. Yeah, yeah. He hates tiles. Yeah, you what the have, fuck do you want to talk about tiles? Because for? you, uh, tiles and concrete are in direct competition with each other, baby. You have yeah. to lay the slab before you can lay the tile, he always you says. Fucking, that's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> And that's questions. And remember, if you want your question answered, just comment a question. All right. And what comes next in the story? Next in the story comes the PO box. PO box. Now we're running. Uh, this is quite a long podcast, so we'll just do a couple. Let's just 
Calm no, down. we're fine. We've got big gaps to cut, so we're 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 at one twenty seven. We're at one twenty seven, <laughs> but there's like twenty minutes to cut of fuckery. All right, all so right. We're, all right. Well, look, good. maybe bong. Yes. No, we don't. I think maybe bong. third one. Yeah. All right. Bong break. Is that her? No, that feel better, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Marty. PO let's... unboxing segment. Here it comes. And this is where we open the shit that you guys send to us, okay? We open it live on the podcast. We do not know what is in this shit. And you guys send some fucked shit, which makes, makes this segment very exciting. You never we've, know what you're going to get. We've been sent some fucked shit. I'm I talking think this shit, is from teeth, piss. Great Britain. And the P.O. Box 256 Tagum 4018 Queensland, Australia Send us some weird shit, okay? And you too can see us open your shit live on the podcast Which is very exciting Matt, you need to fix this It's broken Okay, I'm scared uh, oh. Can you open that one? Oh, yes Oh, my God Okay, I've just opened a letter, right? Okay and It's uh, oregano We'll from- just say with that can't it's a herb oregano Let's see what this is oh it says fuck you matt brown on the inside <laughs> it, oh, oh my god matt did or did you not say one day that if someone sent in their pubes you would smoke them for bong break <laughs> you guys this is so you open something and you just throw it on the ground and then we lose everything <laughs> This house has no fucking knives or scissors. No, 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 no. It's not how like, it works. Like we got to read like who it's from and shit. Look, look, l- let's just pause for a second here, okay? Someone has sent us pubes and a lighter, all right? And said, fuck you, Matt Brown. You look very charming, Brown. Sorry. You look like Fluoro Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we got sent this lighter with pubic hair. Um... So next bong break, Matt. Since you don't have weed, you can have some pubes. Where's the pubic hair? Right here, black pubic hairs. And you said you'd smoke them. <laughs> you said in a separate podcast, send us your pubes, I will smoke them. I think you're wearing a two hundred dollar jacket, Matt Brown. Yeah, dude, that's <laughs> you can have that. Bro. <laughs> you oh. got to smoke those pubes, oh, Matt. Pubes. Says Liebe Grüße aus Deutschland. That means uh, uh, hello from Germany. Thank you very much. <laughs> Danke schön. That didn't come from Germany, did it? Must have, oh. yeah. Must have come from Germany. Mustard? This lighter and pubic hair is German pubic hair. Let's see how thick and coarse it Jackpot. is. Jackpot. This is better. Oh, my God. All right. Michael's just opened a huge oh fucking no. box. And it is a feast fest. Oh, my God. We just had bong break. We've got, yeah. Holy shit. They're Starburst. Holy, Holy shit. fucking shit. Tasty gummy nuggets? Oh what? Oh, my God. Oh, These they're called poo drops. They actually know me. Oh, my God. They're called poo drops. Sugar pastels. <laughs> fucking gold. Oh, my God, dude. All right. Try to right, direct... Get- we get a two minute binge here, just deal with it. <laughs> Try not to wreck them too much so we can save them some little photos. Mm. Hey, do you want me to open it? Yeah, we still keep the packets. Yeah, keep the packets. Mm. Oh, so much packaging. Just mm. get in Dude, get fucking nah. guts cunt. Holy fuck, I love these lollies. Thank you. Who's a good boy, Buzzy? Matthew Gregory Brown, oh. aka Harry Egg. Harry Egg? Yeah. Oh no, it's good. It's like a play on Greg. It's very good. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. <laughs> the mm. word egg is in Greg. <laughs> it's that's why I reckon it's so shit because eggs are shit. Oh my god. Oh no, it says do just not read out loud. Well, there's one for us, so we'll read this one. Is it also oh man, sad? sugar is good. Thank oh, you. It takes so long to unwrap one. Yeah, you eat this pastels. Uh, Stab is so good. Okay. Dear Mickey Bicky and Marty Farty. Did you say not read out loud? I don't know. I'm just going to read it. We sent you some yummy treats from the UK that we don't think you have in Australia. I do have these and I love them. You know me very well. Thank you. We've also sent you some very special non-edible treats. We'll be really impressed if oh, you can guess what they are. They're moving? Are. Only Matt Brown knows the answer. We love you very much. You make us laugh so much. Love Ruth and Albie Redmond. 
mother and son clang tangs. Holy shit! Imagine watching us with your mom. Thank you. That's so what happens. Much. Thank you so much, Ruth and Alby. Mm. Fucking mother and son. I buy watching. these what once legends. a week. Imagine listening to to us with your mother. That'd be so cool if you were that close to her. We look in this jar. I have something. That's is this the thing they say is not, not edible? Stop, stop. Hang oh, on, I gotta stop sec. eating. This is getting bad. Hang on, hang on. Can I eat this, man? This one, the brown that we can't read. <laughs> He's reading There's it. a letter to Brown we can't read. It's got something to do with this, doesn't Look it? Look at the poos. Yep. They sent us little poos. Okay, so. I'm eating oh. the snot. I'm eating the snot, Brown. Oh. Oh, is that smell coming from that? Yeah. Um. Okay, so. Oh my God. You have to so guess. Good. All right, you have to guess what's contained inside the container. Oh, really? There are two things. Is there a green container? Oh, it's sending it's me only creeps. A, was, it's like an orange container. Oh, there's should, a green one. There should too. be an orange and a green. Yeah, and we, they, we oh, found skin them. shavings. No. That's from the bottom of a foot. Oh, what well, are you in the green one? Yeah. Uh, no, incorrect. What is it? I don't know. You can you can sniff. <sighs> you can feel. I wouldn't let, feel. Let Boz have a smell. See what he does. Don't let him eat it, though. Oh, careful. <laughs> Dude from- he would eat it. Holy shit. So whatever it is, Bosley would eat it. It's creepy as fuck. Give me a look. Um, yeah, it's hard to tell what that is, eh? I reckon that- Oh, some fell on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's really creepy. Yeah, careful, careful, careful. Yeah, yeah, I'm just showing the camera. Could be poisonous for you. You guys can probably not see it. Um, It looks like skin. They uh, sent us skin, like dark skin. Here, Michael, try one of these snot things. No way am I eating that. I can't believe you're eating Dude, them. Dude, just try one. No way. Oh, that's that's a, insane to me. There's a gooey center. That's, mm. It's it, too slimy for me. I can't eat lollies like that. Freaks me out. Mm -hmm. Can only stick with the sugar-coated pasta. No, so well, any guesses on the green thing? Then. I can't and, believe, I didn't know you were meant to eat those. That freaked me out when I saw them. Any other guesses on the green thing? Yeah, no, no I've never seen that can before. Can you try the poos then? Yeah. Mm. All right, try uh, open up the orange one and see if you can guess what that is. Have a big sniff of it, apparently. Oh, yuck. No, I reckon that's like mold. I shouldn't sniff that in. I don't know. <laughs> Off fruit? <laughs> is it from a human we, body? Is that it's like- not from human, no. We just not. cast a spell out, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. That's a fucking- we're It's gonna, a Pandora's box. Well, I regret right. that. So the um the green container contains horse smeg from around its bell end. Oh wow! Whoa, yeah. smeg is like the yeah that fell on me some of it. Get, no, it didn't. Yeah, this is horse gross cum shit. It's like dick cheese on a horse. It's horse dick cheese in a jar. Yeah. This is unbelievable. We've just been sent horse. Dick cheese. I think we found the title for this podcast. Horse dick cheese. We got sent horse dick cheese. <laughs> yeah, can you? That, that's the title, Connor. Oh, yeah, we got sent horse dick cheese. Well, and, and what's oh, in the other one? Let's put that up um, somewhere. What are the poos Memphis. like? Delicious, and, like oh, Coke flavored. That's fuck. Coca Cola that's, flavored. They, they look open. so disgusting. They're so slimy. Oh yeah, they are Coca-Cola. They're fucking though. delicious though. Little poos right. they're marketed as. What's the, in the orange jar? In the orange container, you're right, boss? You look very stressed. Oh, what are these? These are the poos that I'm eating. Oh, All right. In the orange container, uh, ho it contains horse hoof clippings. Oh, okay. That's a little bit better. I they smell believe. like shit though, I thought. Sorry. I Sorry. can't believe we got sent fucking horse dick cheese. Yeah. Well, well oh, done. That made up for whatever we got sent. Oh, yuck. <laughs> They're so slimy. They're not slimy. They're how, sticky. How much for you to eat one? No, I wouldn't. I can't. I'm not eating them. No Ten way. Shave your starter. head or eat one of them. What's it going to be? I eat one. Ooh. <laughs> it's not bad. I can't believe. Can you flick me one? <laughs> Fuck. Please. <laughs> Make it easier. I want them. You wasted heaps then. <laughs> Fuck you. You don't get any. You <laughs> have the ground ones. There's pubes on the ground though, remember? Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> There's pubes everywhere. There is a layer of pubes on set. I blow on it. It's all good. That's fucked, man. That is so fucked. Sorry, oh guys. God. Just turn my phone off and on. Here we go. What prank call are you doing? 
Um, I'm calling the billboard guys. Ronda. How about we go to an old faithful of Domino's, but we use Rhonda, one of our new ones. I reckon Rhonda's drunk order upset pizza. with her hotel room or something, or she's trying to find now her no, husband's I've cheating. No, I've got her. it. I've got it. Rhonda has ordered a Domino's pizza, but it has not arrived yet, and she's accidentally called the wrong Domino's and is accusing them of losing their her order. Hi. Hi, yes. Excuse me, I ordered a pizza with you guys about roughly 45 minutes ago, okay? And it still hasn't arrived. And my place of residence is just down the road. So I was just calling to see what the hold up is here down. Um, okay. So could you give me the, um... Of course, darling. Yeah, the, the address for that order. The address, of course, darling. It's called. Oh my god! So I live on sixteen Monro Terrace. Oh, excuse me, God. Oh. 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 I'm sorry, could you just give me a second? It's now taking it sense. No worries, Don. Thanks for holding. Shouldn't be too long. One of our Domino's team members will uh, be with you shortly, but while you wait for your hot, hot, fresh delivery, check out our new hot, 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 hot fresh hot, track. Hot, hot, DJ hot, hot, delivered hot, that tasty yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love my money. And I love getting any rush to deliver to just $15. Hang on. Wait. Are you kidding me? Domino's can deliver my favorite pizza. The deep end lighted pizza, by the way. I'm not going to break it home. It takes me. I'm sorry, my friend. I'm not going to break it Hello? Hello. Hello. Sorry, Dallas. Put me on hold or something there, did you? Um, yeah, so I, I okay. question, did you okay. did you order it over the phone? Yeah, exactly. I think I put a call ahead, yeah. Right, I, okay. Could I get your phone number? Yeah, of course you can, darling. Okay, my phone number zero seven. Hi, sorry, home number or is it a mobile number? Excuse me. Uh, the number the number that you use to call the store. Okay, well, let me just quickly check my call log because I can't remember. If it was after home farm, mm, excuse me, if it was off my handy. Mm, sure has. Okay, I can't think see it off my home phone, okay? So I must be off my home phone, okay? Here's my fun home phone number, okay? You got a piece of pencil? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm ready. You got a pencil? Okay. My number zero seven three four. Yep. Three five nine three two. Uh, uh, so 0734 3529 three, 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 three,
Oh, is that, sorry, or my phone number from the address? So, the ad- so, uh, your home, the number of your home address. The, my, you want my home address? Sixteen Maudrell Terrace. All right, perfect. Maudrell Terrace. Did you get that yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Sixteen Maudrell Terrace. Yeah, six, six, yeah, it's one six Maudrell Terrace. Okay. okay so the, oh, excuse yeah. me. It's too many sh- 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 Right. So um. Quite a few uh, shows. So what's the whole lot, darling? Because uh, so I've got a whole family waiting for three pieces and a few sides, and I could come down and pick it up if you can have the stuff. Okay, darling, I can do that. I can come down on the car. It's a short drive, and I'll come down and pick up the pieces. Okay. Um. So I I think your um oh, okay. your order is for like a different. Store. Right, right. Um, you know, your house isn't in our uh, range. Well, the lady I spoke to, okay, she said Dominoes in Asprey. And if I'm not mistaken, that's it. That's it, right? Right, but uh, we don't have any history so of that order. What I'm hearing here is you lost my order again. Okay, this has happened five times now, okay? And one day I'm going to stop ordering, okay? Because this Christian on the is getting ridiculous. And now my uncle, okay, who listening to this, he's studying, okay, to do the lawyer. So if he kind of keeps losing my orders, that's physical abuse. That's physical abuse in three states in Australia. <laughs> Read a book, Sato, darling, because I am teaching you on my time. <laughs> right, um, uh, I'm sorry that happened. Um, sorry, but- Shmari, okay, sorry, Shmari, okay? So- seriously, sorry, Shmari, okay? Sorry, Shmari doesn't put pizza on the table <laughs> for my f- Fucking uncle and his brother. Right. Um. Could you? Would you like to try calling the Mc store? I think that's where um it might have gone to. Look, why didn't you tell me? Okay. What the McDowell phone number is? Because the one I've got written down is the one where my pieces got made. To. Um, right, I'll just get the number for you. Okay, well, okay. Yeah, that would be great. If you could make the call and set up a meeting, I could come down in the morning and we can talk about how this keeps happening. Um, so, uh, the number for the McDowell store, it's, it's um... Shiraz. It's zero seven. Zero seven. Okay. Let me get a three zero. Let me get All a right, pencil. Yeah. Okay, let me get a pencil quick like. Okay. okay, no worries. Slowly! Slowly! Where's for the fucking pencil? Where's the Slowly! 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 Fuck it, Okay, okay. Let me get a little piece of paper, okay? okay. Alright. Alright, okay, so let's hear it. What do you go for? Alright. M- Is that who I'm yep. talking to right now? You want me to call? Uh, no. You I'm just gonna m- give you the m- number and then you can call them and ask about that. M- has my pizza, okay? Yeah, I, we think so. Your um, m- your. Is that what you uh, No. Okay. No, uh, okay. Look, there's no but... need to get frustrated, okay? I was just trying to find my food. This is paid for. Okay. Okay, that's okay, fair. All right. Oh. Uh, All right. Uh, when you're ready, I'll just read off the number. Uh, you want me to read my number? I've already read uh, it. No. So, to... 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 Two? What are you saying, darling? How about right, I come, um, I can... come in to the store, okay? And, uh, and you can quick come to go. Because I'm going to just drive down, okay? And to put the kids in the back. I'll see um, you guys shortly, okay? I'm going to come down. 
Oh, I gotta pick up another bottle of wine for dinner anyway. Okay. Hi, sorry. Um, this is if speaking. Um, mm, so I, I've heard well, you excuse play- me. You come in. It's very, very, very confrontational. Okay. Uh, so you placed an order it's, earlier uh, for pizza delivery. That is correct. I placed pizza for three pieces. And a few of the sides, I, I believe. Okay. I believe so. And that was to 16 Mondral Terrace? 16 Mondral Terrace, yes. All right. So, uh, and you ordered by phone? That's correct. I call from my half phone. Okay, so, dominance. sorry, just a second. Um, you would have called oh the Mondral God. Terrace store? And you would have placed the order with them, not with us. Why so is everyone I can transfer, I can transfer you to the Montreal Terrace store. The, what and- I have done, darling. I know what I have done, darling. Okay. I call up <laughs> Dominus from my home phone. And we you, don't like, have an order for okay, you, sorry. have lost my order for the fifth time. We haven't lost time. your order because for you haven't placed time, an order with not, us. And I'm going to call security affairs, okay, and have the matter looked into. My uncle is studying to do lawyer, okay? <laughs> you- <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> that was such a long prank call Dude there was one point in that podcast <laughs> <laughs> Where I honestly just I couldn't stop I couldn't believe where it had taken me I was pissing myself at one point I can't remember what it was You mean the prank call or the podcast? The prank call Okay I was like the <laughs> When, podcast when you were podcast. like yelling at like, Oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> The conversation with your uncle. <laughs> yeah. That was the greatest fucking thing I've ever heard. And she was there to hear it. She heard that. Oh. Can they hear you yeah, when you're so on hold? I was about to Can say, they- I'm not sure, but if they record their, th- their if they record their phones. Their phone call recordings will still hear you. Because I don't think they could hear if they got on hold. They can't hear. hear. It depends on what their setup oh, nice is. If they they can for the moment. They c- I come off hold and I'm still screaming. <laughs> yeah, there was one if you just screaming this obscene sentence and then coming back to the I was conference. trying to listen if they were like oh. giggling at you yelling at your family for a pencil. <laughs> I, I could hear like it's some sort of Strangest language, dude. <laughs> it really got me. Oh, uh, anyway, that's this week's podcast. We we gotta get out of here. It's late. Okay. The state of origin is it's on. To get out of football and have a shiraz. We are the best. With 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 the best.